Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully complete total code application for the property type, right? You can able to add it, you can get all the data from to the database, you can edit, update and delete it. Now I want to create another simple code application for the amenities. So when I add that uh, our product, that means uh, when I add that our properties, then that will be needed. For the reasons here, I want to simply create another simple code application. I want to do and to make it a little bit fast. I hope without watching this section, you are able to complete this code application. Okay. Now let's do that work. I don't want to skip any video. So the, that is all will be our all that amenities. I want to do and to simply take it. So if you want to do this work here, first job is we have to create one of the a new data model right and also migration stable we have to create i want to create another new model as a php artisan and then make model and i want to create model name as a amenities amenities right and also at a time i want to create on the migration stable now click as a enter and now you can see it's now successfully generated two of these things one is the model and there is a migration okay so here only we need that one field actually like if you go that is only the amenities name will be needed right so it will be very easy if you go our again right now i will actually copy everything from our type so as i told you that will be a little bit fast i want to do if you go to again in our database that means that is in our database and in the database that is our new one as amenities right great so first of all i want to do to add one of the field name better i copy it from our property type and here i paste it i want to create one of the new field name okay here only one field will be enough as a amenities amenities okay amenities name now this type of one of the um field that will be enough and also i want to update our model if you go to that model here i want to make it as a protected guarded okay amenities will be as a protected guarded great now click as a save all that's all okay that's all will be for our amenities now i want to do i want to simply migrate it so that will be as a php artisan migrate now if you click as a enter database table is created successfully if you now go to our database again now that should be new table as a amenities great there is only one field as a amenities name i hope you already know what exactly you have to do our first job is we have to create another new menu okay better i want to do i want to go to our sidebar into the sidebar now i want to better copy it okay that is on the li i copy this total li and after that i want to do and to paste it okay only we have to change that our id so here i name it as a amenity okay amenity great so now also I want to update that our id here also you can see there is not the id i simply update great now that will be our amenity so i simply added that amenity for the amenity that will be the two things one will be the all amenity another will be the add amenity great now i want to create another new route that will be as a all amenity right so i want to create this type of the route if you go to our web route so in our property controller i want to actually create it better i copy it and after that i want to paste it okay so that will be for the amenity Okay, I mean it is all route great you can create another different controller but right now I don't want to create it because that is very simple one of the things I want to simply better do these things in our property type controller if you go to that property type controller here better after this I put some of the note okay that will be for the amenities amenities all method okay that's all so from here i want to actually start at that things in particular that area so right now our first job is we have better around to one by one i want to replace all that our code in here so all that our routes first of all that will be as a all amenity i want to use it as a all amenity i copy it and now in our web route i want to update it as a all type to all amenity url will be amenity that will be our all amenity okay it should be very easy part now I want to create this type of one of the method in our property type controller. If you go to our property type controller, better I want to take it from our first one. As I told you, I have already created that main structure. Now that should be very easy. Only we have to now load our model that I have created for the amenity. So here, if you go our model name as the amenities. Okay. So I simply want to do it to add it. Great. Now I'll do better copy it. Okay. I copy it. And now if you go 
after that i paste it now our method name method name will be as a all amenities i copy it now that will be as a all amenities our model name now and to get all the data from to the amenities for the reasons here we have to access our model name as the amenities latest data i want to get i want to take the things with one of the variable as the amenity okay this type of the variable i want to create now in our backend i want to create another new folder as a amenities and here i want to do and to create another new file as a all amenity i get the things with this variable here i pass it that's all okay now i want to create this folder as amenities in our backend if you go to our resources view okay right now we don't need this public into the resources view in our backend into the backend i want to create the new folder as a amenities and here i want to create on the new file as a all amenities so now i want to create on the new file click as a save as name it as all amenities dot blade okay blade dot php and that will be just like our type so from to the type i want to actually copy everything as a all amenities i copy it that means all type i copy it and now in our all amenities area i want to paste it okay great so now i want to simply update and that will be as a add amenity okay amenities great um, great so now that will be as a amenities all okay and i have already get all that our amenities i take the things with this variable i pass it in our all amenity space right now that will be as all here only one field will be enough as a amenity okay amenity name amenities name great so now here i name it as amenities as item and here i want to display our field name our field name only will be which one that will be as a amenities name okay I copy it sorry i want to done to copy it and now here i want to display the amenities name that's all okay that's all now right now we don't have any data it should not should be display any thing right now first of all i want to run our optimize i simply run this optimize and now if you go okay now if you go i want to refresh it now that should be another new menu as the amenities and if you go to our all amenities yeah you can see right now i don't have any data for this is not display anything okay so now also i want to do on to inside our add amenities so if you want to do this work better want to do this in this video is very easy one of the things so here i name it as a all amenities right now i want to do and to create another new route as a add amenities okay so that will be the add amenities if you go to our web into the web that will be the add amenities i want to update that our url as a add amenities i want to create another new method as a add amenities great so only we have to now create this method and here we have to pass one of the return view page now i want to create this method as a public function method name okay great and then that will be our return on the view page so return view return view will be which one here in our backend into the backend i have already created that amenities folder and here i want to create another new one as a add amenities okay add amenities now this type of one of the folder i want to create that means file i want to create okay first of all i want to create it that is in our amenities here i want to create on the new file click as a save as name it as a add amenities dot blade dot php and now that will be just like our um, add type from here i copy everything and now in here i want to do and to paste it okay simple things great so now i want to update it so that will be as a add um, amenities okay so i want to use it as a add amenities amenities and then only one field will be enough from here i want to remove it and then that will be our field name field name will be our amenities name okay and also i want to update that our field name or database table field name as a amenities name okay here i want to update that our name as a amenities name and also if you want to display that default one then we have to update that things like that way so here i have already discussed about that things with you right so now if you want to load some of the validation that means javascript validation message so how to do this work in our next video i will show you that things with the live example okay right now if you click as a save all if you now go i want to refresh it and i want to optimize it okay addition optimize now if you refresh it and now if you go to our add amenities 
here you can see there is only one field as amenities name so i want to do i want to add some of the validation and for the validation i want to use that javascript validation before i have already discussed about that things with you how can display the default validation message but right now i want to use that javascript validation message so how to do this work in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video